An object is placed 20 cm from a concave spherical mirror having a radius. So we got an object placed 20 cm from a concave spherical mirror having a radius of curvature of 80 cm. Use a graph paper to construct an accurate ray diagram to locate the image. I don't have graph paper and I'm just going to draw it roughly. So if you use a graph paper, then you it's be easier for you lah. Uh, if you don't have a graph paper, what you should do is that you make a scale and use a ruler lah. Okay. Uh, so if they say, uh, use a graph paper to construct an accurate ray diagram and you don't have a graph paper, so you need to use a scale. So we define the scale that we are going to use. So let's say the scale that I should use is... Um, one centimeter is equivalent to, um, let's say, ten centimeter. Okay, so I have my ruler here, but it's quite hard for me. Okay, because uh, I'm using one hand only. <laughs> I don't have any stand here, so I think I'm not going to draw. Uh, following the scale, I'm just going to draw roughly. But if you, you should draw by using this scale lah. Let's say you want to draw the image distance, 20 cm. So, 20 cm is equivalent to 2 cm from the center. R is 80 cm. What does R represent? It helps you to find the focal length. So, we know that focal length is R over 2. Okay, so my focal length is say, 40 cm. Okay, so that's my focal length. Okay, I'm not going to draw following the scale. Eh? I'm just going to draw roughly. You should draw follow the scale. Okay. Now, so this is a concave spherical mirror. So this, how does, this is uh, the shape of a concave mirror. Okay, so the object is placed about 20 centimeters. So I should know where's my focal point. My focal point is about 40 centimeters. So it should be um, located Let's say this is F, so this is 40 cm from the center here. And then my object, okay, my object is 20 cm, so roughly about here lah. Okay, this is U, piston. Okay, I'm going to label O lah, O as an object. And this is my object, okay, with a certain height. Okay, when you draw, they don't give you any image, uh, they don't give you any scale for the object. So, let's say you draw with a height of 1 centimeter. Okay. And then, uh, the first thing in locating the image, you need to draw the ray, the, the ray lah. Okay. So, the first ray that is the easiest ray that you draw is that a ray that is, is initially parallel with C. Okay. Parallel with this uh, line here. This line is uh, the central axis, eh? okay, parallel with the central axis, will be reflect through the focal point F, okay, will be reflected through the focal point F, so that's my first ray, okay, this is my first ray, um, you need to draw a minimum two, eh, two ray, and find the point of intersection, another ray is that, a, a ray that reflects from the mirror after passing through the focal point. So we have a ray. The second ray, I'm going to use another pencil. Lah. Okay. Um, the ray that reflects from the mirror after passing through the focal point. Eh? Let's say from here. Okay. Going here. And it will. Uh, this is a ray that reflects from the mirror after passing through the focal point will emerge parallel to the central axis. Okay, uh, so we have the ray here from uh, the focal point. Okay, and then it will emerge parallel, it will be reflected back parallel with the central axis. Okay, this one also have no point of intersection. Now, what I can do is that I can extend my line here and behind if it's behind the mirror it's going to be a dotted line to show that it's virtual okay to show that it's virtual okay and then uh, this line mm -hmm. 
like this. So this one is like. So this is my point of intersection, and this is where my image is being formed. Okay, so the image here is upright, upright virtual. Uh, it's upright. Images that is upright is only virtual. Easy for to you for you to remember. So virtual upright and magnify. Okay, and if you don't know how to draw the second like second ray, it's quite sometimes quite hard also to remember that we have, we can draw another ray okay we can draw another ray i'm going to use an orange color pencil here um the third ray that you can draw is that a ray that reflects from the mirror after passing through the center of curvature uh, oh no no uh we are going to draw a ray that reflects from the mirror at point c so this is point c yeah, this is point C, center of curvature. Okay, um, and a ray that reflects from the mirror at point C is reflected symmetrically. So let's say, yeah. Uh, uh, okay, so this is a ray and it will be reflected back symmetrically. Okay, so to how to show that it's symmetrical? So we can show that this is theta and this is theta lah. So, theta is equal to theta. It's symmetrical. Eh? At this point here, the ray that touches the center here will be reflected back symmetrically. So, we extend the line here. And possible, you try to get the same. Because I'm not using any scale here. So, when you extend the line, this is the point of intersection. Okay. So, we got three rays that you can draw. A minimum two rays is enough for you to draw. And you have the three option here. You can draw lah. Right? Any three option. And another option also you can draw. But, I'm not going to use the option for this question. Okay? I'm going to use only uh, these three option. Whether I draw uh, my first ray. I always draw my first ray. Uh, parallel to the central axis and then goes to the focal point that's my first ray and second ray i choose lah whether i want to choose um a ray that that touches uh, that will uh a ray that will reflect from the mirror at point c with the symmetrical angle here okay this is quite easy so to draw okay or i choose a ray that Images in like looks like from it images from the focal point and then it will be reflected back parallel through the parallel with the central axis. Okay, so it's up to you. You can choose whatever uh, ray diagram that you are comfortable with as long as you get the answer. Okay, thank you.